अच्छा गाइज आई हैव टू टेल यू फाइन दी पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ सेगमेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड हाउ टू फाइन दी एरिया ऑफ अ सेगमेंट एरिया ऑफ अ सेगमेंट इज बेसिकली एरिया ऑफ द सेक्टर and then you take out the, the area of the triangle okay like this shaded part in both of these diagrams that is showing a segment here and we have also discussed that there, there can be cases where you have to find the area of the major segment so for example if you have to find all of this area so first of all you find the area of the sector okay and then you add up the triangle in this case but in this case when you have the minor segment you find the area of the sector and then you take out the area of the triangle so we have already covered that now this perimeter of a segment that is really a challenging and a complicated kind of a concept here um before i take you to the perimeter of a segment i would like you people to recall the properties of an isosceles triangle okay the properties of an isosceles triangle guess why am i asking you to recall the probabilities of an isosceles triangle hmm? because and, isn't the two sides equal hoti hain aur jo uh, triangle jo hota hai circle ke andar uski bhi two sides equal hoti hain kyunki wo radius ke through yeah that is quite true because whenever you join the end points of a of a chord with the center you always obtain an isosceles triangle like here this oab this oa is 7 cm and this ob is also the centimeter both are radii so this is an isosceles triangle similarly in this diagram if this ob is 12 this means oa has to be 12 as well because they are both representing the the um, the radius of the same circle now uh, you people must always remember this this isosceles triangle is a very useful tool um to solve most of like many of the complicated questions like if you remember that if uh, you remember that the isosceles triangle has a line of symmetry so when you draw this line of symmetry this side is bisected and the angle over here that is bisected as well now when you have to find the uh, perimeter of this um, this segment over here the thing is that you know that the perimeter consists of this arc length over here you will have to find this arc length you have no problem with that you know that the formula for the arc length is going to be theta over 360 into 2 pi r because arc is a part of the whole circumference the problem arises when you have to find the length of this chord ab over here because this shaded part that is bounded by from one side it is bounded by the the arc and from the other side it is bounded by the the, the chord over here uh many of you people uh prefer to use the cosine rule over here to find this length ab this is a typical situation where you can apply the cosine rule but that is a lengthier process look at this suppose if this was 100 degrees so i can say that let me call this as o here it is a and this is b okay now uh this is 7 this is 7 and this angle was initially 100 degrees so when you have drawn the line of symmetry over here so you can say that okay this part is going to be x this is going to be x and the angle over here is bisect let me write this angle over here this is going to be 50 and this is going to be 50 you can use the basic trigonometrical ratios over here to find the length of this x can i say that this x can be calculated through sine because uh, this x is the opposite side and this um, uh, 7 is the hypotenuse over here hai na so we can say that sine 50 that is equal to x over 7 so your x is going to be 7 sine 50 okay so if x is 7 sine 50 then the whole ab would be twice of this because we have divided this into two parts as you know that this um, if i call this point m here so this om is a line of symmetry m is the midpoint of this ab theek okay? hai so therefore the perimeter of this uh, um, oab i mean the six segment this shaded segment is going to be uh, 100 over 360 into 2 pi into 7 that is the arc length plus twice the good students 
will use calculated at once. There's no need to find its value here, okay? So we know that it's gonna be twice seven sine 50. So if you calculate this, that will be the perimeter of the uh, this shaded part over here, okay? I would like you able to find the perimeter of this shaded part in the same way. Come on, do that, hurry up. Okay, let me explain to you this, uh, this to you. Uh, we need to know the arc length. So there's no problem. Arc length would be uh, 80 over 360 times two pi into 12, okay? I'll not be doing anything to, with this. This is basically the perimeter of this shaded part, okay? Now I have to find this arc length, sorry, this chord's length, which is AB over here. Let me draw a triangle over here so that I can tell you that how I would go about it, okay? So uh, this is my O, this is my A, this is B here. Let me call this point M here. Now this is 12, this is 12, and this angle was 80 degrees. So I can say that now this angle is going to be 40, like this is half, because the line of symmetry is passing through this point O. This way, if you name this as X, and this is your X, so you, again, you can say that your sine, uh, sine 40, no, this is sine 40, that is going to be X over 12, and X is going to be 12 sine 40. So you see that there is two times this X here. So to determine this, we can say that it's going to be twice this, 12 sine 40. And the great students, they put all of this at once in the calculator. You should know how to put all of this at once in your calculator, okay? Uh, you can always do some of the cancellations, like I can cancel this zero with the zero, and I know that 12 threes are 36. So if you want to simplify this a bit, so this would be, um, 16 pi by three, Hannah, right? this is 16. This is a bit, if you want to use a calculator, pressing lesser number of keys. So that is 24 sine 40. So what is this, Vacho? Is that 32.2 or 30.2? 32.2. Okay, this is 32.2. So that is how you can get to your actual answer if you use the calculator at the very end like this. So this is how you are going to uh, find the, uh, the perimeter of a shaded part. Let me give you some more question on it. Guys, let me repeat. This is the situation here. Uh, there is a circle with the center row, radius 12, and there is an angle of 120 degrees. So to find the length of the minor arc, so to find the area of the minor sector, find the length of the chord AB, find the area of the major segment, and then you have to find the perimeter of the major sector, okay? Remember, I have given you uh, so many parts so that you people uh, make yourself clear about the difference between the sector and the segment. Okay, let me tell you now, the length of the minor arc, that was to be simply 120 over 360 into two pi into 12. You can just use your calculator to find its answer. Area of the minor sector. For the area of the minor sector, it is going to be uh, 120 over 360 into pi r square. That is the area of the minor sector. That's it. And if it's said area of the minor segment, then you have to take out the triangle from this, okay? So that is area of the minor sector. Then it says the length of the chord AB. For this purpose, guys, you, 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 now you need to learn this, okay? Um, there is always a choice of using the cosine rule, but this one is a shorter way of finding this. So this angle is gonna be 60 here, this is gonna be 60 here. So that is twice, if I find this X over here, that is gonna be sine 60, that is X over 12. So this X is 12 sine 60. So this length of the chord AB is going to be twice 12 sine 60. So this way you can find this. 
length of the uh, the chord AB. Okay. Then it says area of the major sector. Area of the major sector. So that is you only need to find this angle here. That is going to be 240 degrees here. So area of the major sector that is going to be uh, 240 over 360 times mm -hmm. pi mm -hmm. into 12 squared. Mm -hmm. Now suppose if you have to find the area of the major segment, then you have to add the triangle's area into it. Okay. So let's just find that quickly. Area of the major segment. Area of the major segment. So that would be uh, area of the major sector times this pi into 12 square, then plus area of the triangle. Remember, we have learned this formula for the area of the triangle, half into mm -hmm. this 12 into 12, so I can write it as 12 square, into sine of the inclusive angle, that is sine 120. That is area of the triangle, okay? Now, at the end, we have to find the perimeter of the major segment. I just changed that to segment. A perimeter of the major segment. So now this, this all is your major segment over here. You know that you will have to find this arc length here. And then this chord AB. We have already got the length of the chord AB. Now, if you want to go for the top in the word, guys, learn to try to use the exact values, okay? So you might have calculated this value and written this correct to three significant figures. But when you have to find, you have to use this value into any other part, upcoming part, try to use the exact value, okay? So the perimeter of the major segment is going to be, first of all, you need to know the, the major arc length, okay? That is going to be 240 over 360 into um, two pi r. And then plus this one, this 24 sine 60 here, 24 sine 60. So this way you will be getting the uh, perimeter of the major sector. You can compare your answers with this, okay? So, so I'm just recalling a question from um, past papers where you have to prove that this chord AB is less than the arc AB. In fact, he has asked us to show that the, uh, the perimeter of the square is less than the circumference of the circle, okay? So that can be a challenge for you to prove that. So if I just uh, join this with this, this OAB is an isosceles right angle, isosceles triangle. Can I say this is L as well, Hannah? So we can say that R square plus R square, that is going to be L square, okay? So, uh, so guys, I have calculated the value of this chord AB in terms of R, that is 1.41 R. And then I have calculated the arc length in terms of R, that is 1.59 R. Remember, this has been a question in the past paper. So this is basically, this has tested your skills on the arc length and then how to find the length of the chord. So I was, that is why I was telling you why this is so important to, to be able to find the length of the chord, okay? So at this, I'm going to finish today's session. Allah Hafiz.